Hi everyone, so welcome you all. So this is Pavan. So in this video, uh, I'm going to explain about unit testing. So just uh, we remember in the previous video, we have seen about uh, different levels of testing, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and UAT testing, user acceptance testing, right? So the first level of testing is the unit testing. So in this video, I'm more focusing on about unit testing. So what is this unit testing? So usually a developer uh, will get uh, some kind of uh, functionality or piece of functionality and uh, they will write a program to achieve that particular functionality. Suppose the complete project in, is divided into multiple modules, right? So again, each and every module required multiple programs which have to be written by the developer. So it will divide it like this. And each individual developer will work on specific module or specific uh, programs. So unit testing is done at very uh, minimum level here, micro level, like uh, suppose if the developer created a certain program, so it will test that program is working properly or not while giving certain inputs and uh, observing the output, whether he is getting the actual output or not, expected output or not. So that is uh, basically observed by the developer. So what is the unit testing means? Uh, unit testing is a small testable part of the software and it is usually has one or a few inputs and usually a single output so let's say this is a unit or a component or single program you can give one or more inputs but normally it will give you one output so here this is it can be a small program or it can be a small component which is designed by the developer himself Okay, so unit testing is nothing but testing a small component or small program is called as a unit testing and this is a again white box testing technique because internally the developer will test this logic directly. So this unit testing is always conducted on single program or a single module as I said right. So this is a unit testing and which is comes under the white box testing technique. So uh, I have just told you about uh, black box and white box in the previous video. So what is white box and black box means? The white box testing means we can directly test the programs. Means we know what the developer is written internally, the code. Okay, if we test this code directly, that's called as a white box testing. Okay, but uh, black box testing in the sense, they will make this code or uh, if they'll integrate multiple programs into one package or one build, and we'll get this build into testing team. So we will test this build, but internally what they have written programs and all, we don't know exactly, but we know the behavior of this application, how it is working, whether it is working according to customer requirements or not. So that we understand. Based upon the requirement document, we know those functionalities. So we will provide some kind of test data, and we'll, uh, we'll check whether uh, is it behaving as per our expectation or not. But we don't know internal code what they have written. So that's called as a black box testing. So unit testing is fall under white box testing technique because we need to test internal code. Okay. So normally, as I said, it is conducted by the developers only because they are the responsible for writing the code. And then unit testing technique. So as a developer, we need to use uh, certain uh, techniques uh, to perform a unit testing like a basis path testing, control structure testing, or mutation testing. These are the few techniques uh, we have to use as part of unit testing. So let us say what are those techniques. Let's say basis path testing. What is basis path testing? Suppose if we have a, a small code, okay? So when I run this program, at least uh, we need to test this program, at least uh, each and every line should execute at least once. So in that way, we have to provide certain input. Okay, so if I give some input, each and every line should at least execute at least one. Okay, so that we need to make sure that is called basis path testing. All the flows should be executed. That's the basis path testing. And control structure means here uh, the developer will test the conditional statement and loop. So for example, they have created one if condition and inside this they have created some code. And also followed by else condition, they have created some code. Suppose if you provide some input to this, if the condition is true and this block will execute, if the condition is false and else block will execute. So we need to test this scenario by providing negative as well as positive inputs and then the coverage will happen. Okay, that's called conditional coverage and similarly loops coverage. Suppose the developer is uh, written some loop means the 
same set of statements will execute multiple times till it reaches certain point. So this loop is repeating a, a certain number of times or not. If this loop is exiting properly or not. So the boundaries will mean mainly focus in one. So these are the testings are done by the uh, developer as part of unit testing. So these are the techniques like basis path testing, control structure and all. So we'll discuss in detail in the coming sessions, uh, coming videos. I'll discuss more detail on this. But these are the just techniques which they are using as part of the unit testing. And mutation testing is another kind of a technique. Suppose they have created a certain kind of a method in the program. So this method will take certain parameters and it will produce some output. So here we need to provide different sets of data or different sets of inputs and every time it's giving proper output or not, that we need to verify. So this is again called as a mutation testing. This is also one of the technique we use as part of a unit testing. Okay, so that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to explain about the rest of uh, things like uh, integration testing, system testing and user, user accepted testing and so on. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this. So thank you.